I think in the future that's something we should work toward. I mean, there's so many European countries have free tuition in their universities. I don't see why we can't have here. It's, gonna, it's not going to happen overnight, but I think it's something that maybe your children can enjoy free college tuition. And stuff like that takes a long time, it takes yeah. generations. And but I mean, if we look at that as the end goal and start working towards that, that's something that we should actually try to do. Not for private corporations. The rapidly rising inequality that we've seen over the past decade, especially, uh, is reflected in what's going on in education right now. We're seeing the uh, corporatization of universities, we're seeing the explosion of administrative salaries, uh -huh. then it's being financed on the backs of students, a middle class, which can't afford it, especially since <clears throat> the 08 recession. Uh, the middle class never recovered from the 08 recession. Uh, the only people who recovered from that rece recession are the wealthy. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're marching. Free speech! Education is a right! Education is a right! Education is a right! It's only a beginning. Um, uh, many economists, not even left economists, many center economists, and even economists on the right acknowledge that. Uh, if wages had kept up with inflation, the minimum wage would be more like $24 an hour. But the problem is, is that uh, companies like Walmart pay their employees less than a living wage because they know that mm -hmm. they know that the taxpayers will be forced to step in and subsidize that through welfare costs. Yeah. I hope that students at Texas State will understand that um, this is not a sustainable system. They might be able to squeeze through it and pay off their debt. Most people at this point will not be able to realistically, but their kids don't have a shot right now. I think the government should first uh, prosecute and put in jail the criminal corporate banks that uh, perpetrated the 08 recession. That never happened. The Justice Department just dropped it. I mean, that's that's the height of corruption. Yeah. If we just if we just dissolved those banks, seized their assets, and nationalized them, we'd be well on our way. I'm not a policymaker, but I would say as a secondary step, uh, once we get actual existing debt squared away, I think reparations are probably in order from the money that was stolen from those uh -huh. students. Stop! Hey, hey, bailed out! Students got sold out!